In a speech in Washington, D.C., World Bank President Robert Zellick outlined what he sees as the new realities of global finance and development. Many of the crisis points remain the same. The way they must be addressed is, he says, changing. Poverty remains and must be addressed. Failed states remain and must be addressed. Global challenges are intensifying and must be addressed. But the manner in which we address these issues is shifting. The outdated categorizations of the first and third worlds, donor and supplicant, leader and led, no longer fit. Zelik describes a world in which developing countries make up an ever larger share of the global economy. He points out the developing countries are driving the demand that is leading the world out of the financial crisis. Not only China and India, but Southeast Asia, Latin America, and the Middle East as well. And he says institutions like the World Bank can help navigate that change. So the World Bank is therefore seeking its first capital increase in more than 20 years. Shareholders face a decision to strengthen the bank group or allow it to wane in influence, losing an effective multilateral institution and leaving it poorly resourced to cope with whatever comes next. Speaking to policymakers and diplomats at the Woodrow Wilson Center in Washington, Selleck argued that multilateral institutions like the World Bank are poised to help build a new multipolar world. Woodrow Wilson wished for a League of Nations. We need a League of Networks. It's time we put the old concepts of the first and third world, leader and led, donor and supplicant, behind us. We must support the rise of multiple poles of growth that can benefit all.